Hi, I'm Stephen Axford and I'm a fungi photographer and we're in this beautiful old growth forest in Tasmania and I'm going to show you how I take macro photographs of fungi. Ah, here's a perfect little group of yellow hygrosopes. They'll make a perfect macro. Now I always use a tripod for this sort of photography. Firstly because there's very little light in the forest, which means long exposure times. And secondly because I use focus bracketing, which means the camera has to stay perfectly still for maybe 20-30 seconds. Now I always try and level the camera so that the up is up because mushrooms almost always grow vertically upwards. Now this camera is a, the latest Sony A7R5 which is a beautiful camera. It's a 60 megapixel camera and it includes focus stacking software. Now focus stacking to me is an absolute necessity because you can't take a photograph of something this small at this sort of magnification and get the whole thing in focus without focus stacking. I've used focus stacking since about 2006 when there was no software of any description. You had to do it all manually. But as time went on and cameras became higher resolution, I find now that I'm using it 97% of the time. So now I'm going to show you how this works. Firstly, you need to set the lens to autofocus, which on this beautiful 90mm macro is pushing the focus ring forward. So now it's on autofocus. Then you've got to set the drive mode to focus bracket using the function button and select the parameters for focus stacking. The settings I use are the step width, I set to 10, which is wide as it'll go. And I set the number of shots to 70. Now I may not need 70 shots in all cases, but I can always stop it halfway through. Then I set the focus area. Now I usually set the focus area on expanded spot. Then I move the spot focus to the nearest point I want in focus, which in this case is the near edge of the nearest mushroom. I'll check that the camera will focus, in other words, that the camera isn't so close that it's out of the focus range. Now this is one of my hot tips. I always carry with me a folded up piece of aluminium foil. Why? Because I don't use any artificial lighting so that will ref reflect some light underneath the mushroom Now mushrooms are often the most beautiful underneath so you need light to see them now in this case the mushroom looks stunning now I'm going to do my exposure settings now I'm using ISO 400 which is probably my go-to ISO. I'm using f11 which is my go-to aperture. For me the perfect compromise between resolution and time taken. ISO is 400. I'm setting the exposure to minus one with an exposure of one second. I set the exposure to minus one to allow for hot spots on the surface of the mushroom because I don't want anything to be overexposed. Now we're all set up. Half press the shutter on the remote control to just check the focus again. Yes, it's all in focus. Press the shutter on the remote control. The shooting has started. This is taking a photograph every second with an exposure of one second. I've got this set for 70 photographs, but really I don't need all 70. So I'll wait till it's about 30 or 40. 
I'll press the button again and that stops the photographs. Now depending how much depth of field you want, you'll need to go for longer or for shorter. Now what I personally find with this is that it is much easier than crouching down, having to stay in the one position for extended periods of time, turning the focus ring, which as you get older gets more and more difficult. Now I just need to set the camera up, but once it's set up I can stretch my back, press the button and just wait. And with this new software, the results are just superb. I find that the photos I take now are just so sharp. I think the combination of this lens, this camera and the focus stacking software has allowed me to take the best photographs I've ever taken.